Hello there, movie buffs and tech enthusiasts. Today on Techno Dad Life, we'll be looking at the hottest thing in video right now, which is video projectors. And so what we're going to be looking at is the four things that I find uh, that I look for in a video projector and my choice for the video projector that I got for my dad. So feeling overwhelmed? We've got you covered. So let's go over the four things that are key when picking out a video projector. So first we want brightness, and so brightness is how much light the projector actually puts out. Second is resolution, so is it 720, 1080p, or is it 4K? And then third is connectivity, so what are how many ports and what different types of port does it have it on? And last but not least is price. Now let's take a closer look at those features and what you should be looking for in a projector and at the end of the video, I'll show you the projector that I actually bought. So the most important factor when buying a video projector is actually brightness, not actually resolution. So brightness is basically how much light the projector puts out and actually shines on the wall. And so you want to make sure it's bright enough for your room that you're in. So is your room dark? Does it have black blackout curtains or is it lighter with just some shades? Or are you trying to do it outside which is very bright? So let's take a look at that. So, so brightness is measured in ANSI lumens. ANSI is a standardized way of measuring how bright a projector is by turning on the projector and measuring the light that is projected on the wall or on a screen. So if you're inside and it's dark, 300 ANSI lumens or less should work out okay. If you're in a dimly lit room, you want 600 plus ANSI lumens. And if you're in a brightly lit room, you want about 2500. And if you're outside, probably 3500 plus to be able to see what's on the screen. And in general, the brighter the projector, the higher the cost. And like I said before, if for resolution, so resolution, you want to make sure you get the brightest first and then look at resolution second. And so I'll give you an example of that. So say you want a, a 4K uh, projector. And so those will run you about $1,000. You can also get a high brightness projector that is 1080p which for your viewing experience might actually be better than the 4K one. So because you will be able to see it better even though the 4K monitor will be sharper. And so next is connectivity. And so on this particular projector we have audio, AV, two USB ports, and an HDMI port. If you're going to be attaching external speakers or hooking this up to your AV system, you want to make sure it has the proper ports for that and that you have enough USB and HDMI ports for all the devices that you're going to be actually attaching to this. So finally we come to price. And so under $100 you'll find probably a 720p projector uh, that will have marginal uh, ANSI score. And oh, one thing that I forgot is sometimes uh, with these projectors, or a lot of times actually, they don't actually give you the ANSI score, they give you the lumen score, which is actually just the light that's measured at the projector, or at the light source, and not the light that's actually measured on the wall. Uh, so with the lumen star score, you can't actually tell how bright the projector is. So if you find, especially on Amazon, if you're looking through and it just gives you lumens, you have to look through the, uh, the ad to actually find the ANSI lumens uh, because lumens you can't really convert to anything that's actually usable. Now under $250, you can find 1080p projectors that also probably are 400 ANSI lumens or above or below, depending on which one you find. So that is probably at $250 and under, but over $100 is probably the sweet spot for relatively cheap projectors at this moment in time. So now if you want a 4K projector, it's probably going to run you at least $1,000 right now. 
So what projector did I get that ticks all the boxes for me at least? And so I ended up getting a Yabber C40, which is also a Yabber Pro V8 as far as I can tell. One of the things with these projectors uh, is they are from lots of different companies and they seem to change names frequently, although the models seem to stay the same. And I don't know if that's because some are imported or some are distributed here in America. But anyways, this one seems to have two names. So now on this one in particular, it has 450 ANSI lumen. It's 1080p, has a lamp life of up to 50,000 hours. It's an LED. Uh, it's even, uh, at least at the time of this video, it's even on sale with a coupon. So it's way under $200. And then on this one, it has speakers built into it, uh, which I don't know if we're going to use, but we can uh, attach the stereo to this also. So it comes with normal stuff like a remote control, has the buttons on the top. We can keystone it a little bit on the top, focus, but we can do that more in the software. Thanks for watching today, and remember, life is too short to watch bad movies on a small screen. Take care. And bye-bye.